Hey, what's going on guys? Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Also, did you guys see that? They actually changed the loading screen. I don't think I noticed that. Did they just do it recently? But uh, it's pretty cool. I'm actually quite happy that they changed the loading screen. Uh, it used to be the whole, like the standard screen that we've had. So that's actually really cool. But welcome in guys. Welcome to the video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the new Dream Snaps theme and seeing what kind of ideas everybody has going on. It's been a few weeks since we've actually done one of these. So I'm actually really happy to dive back into it now that we got a lot of the guides out of the way. And um, the theme this week is uh, we got our holiday theme. So it's like Christmas or whatever you want it to be, you know, like any any holiday, really. So it's holiday cheer. It's a decor challenge. This will be our second one back to back of having decor. We got traditional simple suggested is red and playful. So the image here, they showed off like a room that you could decorate with. But I, I know the community pretty well enough to know that. They're going to go big with this, so I'm expecting to see some really incredible builds, and I just can't wait to dive into it. Now, if you guys do enjoy this video at all, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's head over to Discord. Oh my, we have Venice here with a Christmas party at Jack's place this year. Jack looks so cool. Like, I know he sits, when he's sitting down, he looks like he's stressed almost, especially when he's sitting at the table. But I love it. I love his animation when he's sitting down. He looks like how I would be sitting if I was at a, a Christmas party too. He's just like, you know, we're, we're here for the food and that's it. But I love this. I love how they even included a little bit of like wrapping paper down here. They put some presents they have a jack's tree right here it looks like they have two of them and then they have these standard like big tree back here but the lighting in this one is incredible they also have a few of the new windows that were in the premium shop they're using like the little haunted mansion wallpaper this is too cool i love this i think a lot of people are going to be using a jack skellington i know i'm going to i'm going to use jack in mine i just don't know how i'm going to implement it yet Probably as like a Santa, like obviously having him sit down just looks really cool. So, Venice, amazing job. We have Barb's Cozy Corner. Have yourself a magical little Christmas. This is too cute. Look at the room they have set up. That wallpaper I actually do have, so that would be an idea. I do think I'm going to do outside though. The Jack Skellington's tree that we got, the presents. Oh, they even have the little festive fox. Their character's super cute the uh, chimney and everything i am in love with this holiday cheer they did an incredible job so we have a Murma moana here which i did expect to see a lot of like winter theme ones which actually works really well too for people that don't want to like that just don't celebrate christmas you could still do like a winter theme one i know you're still going to secure tons and tons of votes especially if it's as beautiful as this one their character is matching the vibe you got the hot cocoa stand the og players Got to that. I'm I'm wondering if they're going to bring something like that back later on for players that missed out. But what was really cool about this photo is they're using the foreground or like the bridge for the foreground right here, which is really cool. And then, of course, this item and the winter star path is just cool. We have a little snowman in the back with the little ice skating rink. I like this. I like how they got it like all foggy and the different types of um, colors going on and lights in the back. Uh, we got Baby here, uh, spending Christmas together with a <laughs> He is tall. He's almost as tall as the dang tree. What the heck? A little, uh, they have multiple different kinds of windows, too. This is cool. They have, like, the smaller windows. And then the longer ones over here that have some snow on them. And then these also have snow. The little candy cane wall. And they matched up with a wallpaper that I didn't even know was in the game. I don't think I've ever seen the candy cane wallpaper. They got the little table here in the foreground for the little uh, like Christmas dinner. That's awesome. Been planning to try this for a while. What's an all day trial of patience? Oh, I bet. Trying to get all the different characters here. You got Elsa. We got Mirabelle. We got Belle, Anna, Rapunzel. They have a whole festive table set up. And also, if you guys didn't know, there are two like two new borders that you can include. They're like winter themed. So there's this one here and then another one, which I'm sure somebody is going to have. So uh, you could definitely use that if you didn't have a lot of stuff to put in the foreground. You didn't know really what to do. You can use this to frame your photo to kind of close out that extra space or those gaps there. 
All right, we have Renee Ashley here. Oh, here we go. Well, literally the next photo we had had the other border. So you can use this little like snowflake one. I really like how people are starting to use the little polar bear, like cut out things here to make it look like they're pulling the sleigh. I think that's really cute. They got all the presents here, the little train going around. They got the fox literally like here in a triangle. So that's actually really cool. Love, love the outfit. The tree is the center and the little like snowman plushie is everything. A uh, Colioli. I've done this one before, but made a few changes based on the feedback I received last time. I, I'm pretty pleased with it. What you think? Oh, this is cute. Yeah, I love the lighting. They absolutely nailed that. Then they have like Merlin over here sitting down in the chair and then it's like they're recording and you know, like they're taking photos. Here's a bunch of photos here. So it's like, you know, let's come sit down with Santa. So I love that. They got a little hot cocoa down here for the player. It looks like a whole line of people waiting to go on the Santa's lap. Kaylani, uh, this took hours because I started with one direction and then went with this. I needed to wait until the train was in the race spot to see everything. I was going to go with Jack, but I thought Eve looked good all in red. Um, Eve, where's she at? uh oh she's right here i was i was looking over by the tree oh you can actually place the train inside of the room that's really cool it like takes up the whole room almost though i love all the windows that they've included the chimney we got eve she looks so cute uh i love how the players over here but getting that train yeah you definitely nailed it it's in the perfect spot uh we got to want to hear christmas time wanted to take the raccoon off my bag whoa how did they have this so bright I love this. They even have the giant ornaments over here in the foreground. They fully decorated this room. Check that out. They have all the gingerbread houses, presents everywhere. Got fruitcake right here. This is too cute. And you included Belle in here with her new winter outfit. This centerpiece right here, I think it's going to be hard not to get votes. Like your eyes immediately go to this. Like you did such a good job here. A uh, frame and the little like a uh, table with the food and stuff. More presents over here. This is phenomenal. We got Petty Perkins here. I think I'm going to wait for it to snow again in Frosted Heights before I take the photo and submit. But imagine this photo and it's snowing. What do you think? Uh, snowing would be cool. Yeah. But I also love it the way it is here because you have like that wow factor because it's so bright. You have that glare. And then your character sitting here with the ancient um, robot is so cute. I love this pose. And then you also have the matching. It's pretty like really symmetrical. And then, oh, you place down glimmer, putting down glimmer by the presence and under the tree. That's what's making all that sparkle effect. You have the frozen fountain here. This is good. This is top, top 100 for sure. We got Rogue here. Um, Olaf, the weird snow raccoon and I are waiting and watching for Santa. Look at Olaf. He's so cute. Even the raccoons looking out the window. Look at the lighting. Got the gingerbread house here in the foreground. This house looks so cozy too. This is the cutest picture I've ever seen. What the heck? I love all the windows, but Olaf's expression is just everything. A top contender for sure. Oh, look at the depth on this photo. Well, this is not Christmas theme whatsoever. I'm not in a festive mood and everything I tried didn't look great. So I think this will be my final. I love it. Nonetheless, I wanted to use the area for so long, but haven't had the opportunity yet. All right, let's see. Oh, this is incredible though. Yeah, like I said, look at the depth leading into the Christmas tree. And then you have the moon up here above the castle. I love this. Um, I think this is where I'm going to be taking mine. But I'm going to use like where you have the frozen castle. Like this is kind of the idea I had because I want to try and go for one of those really like depth shots because I've never attempted one before. But I'm going to use the new palace to see how that works. But it's pretty much going to be the same same idea here so this is really incredible to see obviously a different take than what i'm going with it but this is top tier you have so much going on and it just lines up with the house the moon the tree your character is just perfect we got ali here with um i thought i'd do an indoor snap this week hope i don't lose my four a week a streak of fourth i don't think you will i don't think you're gonna lose it you got a lot going on here but it, it doesn't look like too much also, your character back there kind of looks like uh, Suro's outfit. I'm loving it. Loving it. You got the little aliens by the presents. That is such a good idea. 
Oh my gosh, that is such a good idea. Uh, we got Jack Skellington, of course. He just makes this theme. This theme is just perfect for him. We almost have to include him. Christmas dinner with some holiday villagers. Look at this. <laughs> That's the capybara pose, right? But you're hiding the capybara. And then your character is like eyeing all of the food. And you have all the food in the fort. This is going to be such a good theme to vote on. Like, I am in love with all these submissions. They have the new Winter Palace with the, um, the fireworks going off. They have the Frozen Fortress and the mansion, like the Frozen Mansion here. This is incredible. Look at the lighting and everything. But your character is just topped here and then the other character sitting around the table. I know that had to have taken a while to get perfect. Carissa with the lighting for days and the lighting with the little wisp from the blizzard in the wind over here looks amazing. Having that polar bear, I gotta include it in my dream snap. And then you also have like the little merry-go-round thing in the back. That's also a good piece. I gotta remember to use that. I have so many different ways I want to go this week and I just don't know what to do fully. Oh dang, we got Mike here. Look at this. Uh, they said, second and probably last version of my submission as something bothered me with the first one. Now that cute robot can enjoy his joyful and cozy Christmas morning. So it's like their character is like them during Christmas waiting to get their presents. Look at Jack. I'm telling you, his, like the way he sits down, I think is just so cool. They have all the presents. They even, their outfit is incredible. It's like a little kid shirt. Got the little socks on. Got the toy robot. I love, this has got to be top 10, right? Like it has to be. They haven't included the cookies right here. Mike, you better not get robbed again this week. Or are we going to riot? There's no way you get robbed on this one. And then we have Dan here. Jack is ready to celebrate. And so are we in the valley. We have a Jack right here. Uh, we got Olaf, Ariel, uh, their characters right here. There's a lot going on in this picture, but I'm loving it. I'm loving all the lights, all the different stuff. It's like a whole little Christmas setup area, like right here. It's like, come visit Santa, like they're in a line. This is everything. You guys are doing so good with Dream Snaps. And guys, I'm sorry if I didn't get through all of yours because there are just so many submissions. Like, they, they're all beautiful. They're incredible. Like, look at the lighting. It seems like nailing the lighting this week is going to be key because, as you can tell... There's a lot of competition, like, oh my gosh, what the heck? Look at this one. Who is this? Uh, Nolan here. I managed to improve my dream snap a little. Maybe this is the finale. This is our the number one submission. What the heck? It's like a full, like all the villagers are right here at a giant feasting table. They included these, which are like, what are those things? I forgot. They're like little treasure things you can drop. Got the presents here at the little bushes to frame it. Wow, this has got to be rank one, right? Like, I think we can agree this is definitely... Oh, even Beast is back here. You have Gaston over here at this hot cocoa booth. booth. So there's like Gaston at this hot cocoa booth. And then a Beast over here. And then pretty much the whole valley right here. And look at Mickey's face. We got to look at this one a little closer. That is top tier. Number one submission right here, without a doubt. Except Wally is kind of like, uh, he looks a little... Oh, he's got he's got Eve over here by himself. Okay, never mind. I was going to say he looked a little sad, like he was going to sneak up on him. And then Rapunzel, of course, she's doing some painting. Alrighty, guys. Oh, hello, Jack. Alrighty, guys. That is it for the video. You guys did such an amazing job. And already just within the first day, there's a lot of competition. I'm going to have to go all out if I want to be able to keep my 4K streak alive. But uh, you guys are making me more and more proud every single week. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate you guys. And we will see you in the next one.